excellent places, excellent music, excellent art. You'll fall in love with the people. The people will bring you back. We have a lot to show to the world. Welcome to Haiti. The city of Cape Haitian. A city full of beautiful chaos, pretty secluded beaches and home to the largest fortress in the Western Hemisphere, La Citadelle La Ferrière. At the National Park you'll find a crumbling palace, Saint Souci, once the royal residence of King Henry Christophe and a sign of Haiti's opulent past. Its ruins are absolutely stunning. The Citadel is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the largest fortress in the Western Hemisphere, and it's absolutely beautiful. Built in the 1800s by 20,000 men over 15 years, this fortress still holds over 365 cannons. Here we have uh, British cannons, we have French cannon, we have Spanish cannon, we have Haitian cannons. And uh, when they want to shoot it, uh, they put powder inside of it and the cannon ball in, in the front. And there is a wall there. They uh, eaten it with a wick, and when it, it is eaten enough, it is it, it, bow. It shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For a place to stay in Cape Haitian, the Cormier Plage Resort lies right on the beach. It's close to restaurants, the town, and has a laid back Caribbean vibe. We are. Uh, Haitian hotel. So the food is Haitian, the, um, the old atmosphere. Swing in a hammock and enjoy the ocean breeze or a cocktail at the beautifully decorated restaurant area. The Haitian are very nice. You know, you go outside the town and people are very nice, very welcoming. Take a trip with Stefan from the Cormier Plage to their family's private island known as Amiga or Alarat Island. Watch the fishermen come in, snorkel, relax and sample some of the local food. We've just met some locals coming in with their fresh catch. They've got some lobster and some crab back there and they're going to cook it up for us right here on the beach, Haitian style. Let's eat. start a fire right here on the beach. They get a boiling pot of water and they use water right from the ocean. Sure. Bon bagay. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite things about Haiti so far, how fresh the food is and how friendly and welcoming all the locals are. Just a quick boat ride away is the fisherman village of Labati, one of the most liveliest and culturally rich communities in Haiti. <laughs> when we arrived, they showed us how they welcome foreigners. We are on our way to the capital city of Haiti, Port-au-Prince. 
We've spent some time in Capetian in the north. It's been amazing. We've seen some incredible things while we've been here. But I'm really, really excited to get to Port-au-Prince and see what's in store. The capital city of Haiti and one of the most visually fascinating and exciting in the Caribbean. You'll find the busy streets splashed with colour, vibrant stacked houses, resourceful people, unique art, popular restaurants and more recently, fancy upscale hotels. Going to the Marriott in Port-au-Prince, you can expect a Marriott experience. You can expect the Marriott experience. We have the same customer service, so you can find everything from local dishes to your classic Marriott favorites, so you can feel right at home. The suites all have one and a half bathrooms. They have a full tub and a shower. The pool is open. Uh, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. We have a pool bar. The most unique thing about the country is the people. It's the culture and you can see it when you're driving through the streets, when you're visiting an art gallery. Just the Caribbean colors radiate through them. The Asian cocktail that you want. One thing you absolutely have to do in Port-au-Prince is visit the Observatoire restaurant and bar. We've driven up the mountains to a town called Batillier. We're overlooking the whole of Port-au-Prince here. We're here at the Observatory. It's a great place to come and hang out, have a bite to eat, and admire the absolutely stunning view. country known for its one-of-a-kind and overly creative art, Haiti is pulsating with art galleries and exquisite artwork. Haitian art is very distinctive. Haitian art is naive, primitive and contemporary. Haitian art is colorful. Haitian art is known all over the world. If you're looking for something with more adventure, at the Iron Market in Port-au-Prince, you'll find everything from produce, beauty products, and voodoo art. So Joe's telling me that this yeah. is a spirit called yeah, Bosu. Yeah. Bosu. Bosu. Bosu, and it's two it's, heads. It has two heads. Yeah, one for good luck, one for bad luck. Which one's good luck? This one is for bad luck, this one is a good luck. Okay, so you put it in your house. Yeah, we, in your house. Nothing hung that's gonna happen to your house. So you wanna put it on the good luck side? Yes, yes. Not the bad luck? Yes. It's creepy. Yeah. But it's kinda cool. That's right. <laughs> two-hour drive just outside of Port-au-Prince and you'll come to one of the most friendly and peaceful towns in Haiti, Jacmel. Stop into Hotel Farita for lunch, visit the nearby beaches and one of our favorite trips, visit Bassin Bleu. This is the cocoa beans, the little red one. They make Haitian chocolate with that. destination you may not first consider, but with its humble people, gorgeous natural beauty, infectious charm and heaps of culture, it's a destination you won't soon forget.